we're going to go ahead and create a neon sign title. Something like that. Okay. First thing you do is you go ahead and start off uh, with your text tool. And then add in your title right here. And you'll notice I have guides set up. And the way you do it is with your rulers. You pull them down or pull them over. Can use the align tools right over here on the side. Okay, right here. See that? All right. So now I've got my guides here, so that I can use my pen tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one point right there. It's an anchor point. I'm going to hold my shift key. Another anchor point. There we go. So now it says gray fill. Well, we don't want a gray fill. So get rid of it. White stroke. It's at four, and you can barely see it right there. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click away right in here all right if you're still in the same layer you'll notice I have them right here okay so right here I can go ahead and name that top line okay so then I grab my pen tool and I do the bottom line click once on my shift key click again and you want to do it in a different you want to click away so that these two aren't joined up and it goes ahead and inherits the four point Let's get rid of the, uh, the guides. That's kind of what I want. And you can move this around if you want. There we go. I think that looks a little bit better. Bring in your fluorescent lamp sound. What you want to do is you want to match it up to the highs and the lows. Now you'll notice that that's pretty long right there, okay? So you don't want to make it too long. So go ahead and shorten this. And this would be a good place to go off. Let me go ahead and shorten the sound right here right about there. So I'm going to use my razor tool there, advance one frame, click on it, play it, right about there, advance one frame, click, we're going to go ahead and stop there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shorten these two right there because I think that'll work. Now what you do is you go ahead and you cut out the sections that you cut. Just delete them. Okay, let's see what it sounds like and looks like right at the beginning. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and add an effect. It's called an alpha glow. So you go ahead and look in effects. If you don't have it open, you go ahead and go up here. You open it up. There's effects right there. I want to put mine right up here. Look for alpha glow. There it is. Click hold and drag right here. So now you got your alpha glow, you got your settings right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's pick red. Okay. So I'm going to pick a light red. Okay. You want to pick a light red. For your start color, see that right there? And then for the end color, I'm going to pick a brighter red. There we go. Hit OK. So you got two different reds right there. You don't need to do the keyframe here because it's going to apply the whole time. So there it is right there. And it's at 25. So you can start it at 25 or you can start at 45. 40. Let's see what that looks like. That looks a little bit better. OK. So that'll work. So now you take that effect copy it and you go to like that one there you paste it in one two three right there paste it in that'll work so your second one you paste it in but this time you go ahead and make that one like 70 or 75 so it's a little bit more and then you take that effect there you can take it copy it so it was this one here, paste it in, uh, let's see, let's take it here, let's see, is it there, no there's nothing there, so paste it in, there we go. So now you got the third one, you paste it in, make that one at 100%, take it and copy it, ok, 
Okay, that one has one there. See, that one has two. See that one right there? Oh, there we go. One. Go back over here. That one has two. See that? So we'll take one of them out. So I'm going to take this one out. You want to make sure that there's only one in there. Okay, there's one in there. There's none in here. So paste it in. There we go. And then at the end. Alright, so let's take a look and see what we did. There we go. And that's how you create a neon sign title.